I'd say it's unique, as in it's, it's still being built exactly how it was built from the very beginning. I think Defender is an icon in itself. Defender's always going to hold a place in people's memory and the industry without a shadow of a day. Defender, it becomes a bit of an art to build these cars because everyone is unique. And that's why you've got so many people coming in to see the vehicle being made. Even in years to come, I'll be like, yeah, that's the last one I built that. <laughs> Most places now is all machines, so it's been really interesting working with Defender, actually doing more like hands-on work. Everybody knows each other, and everybody gets on with each other. It's like one big family. It's an end of an era, it's a lovely vehicle. That's the best part about it, it's its characteristics. We've got really good mates here. We're all going out to celebrate the end of the Defender. Big happy family. <laughs> The people I work with make this place. Jaguar and Land Rover isn't just about the cars, it's about the people within this place. They just make it what it is today. As a 20-year-old lad coming in, it's quite daunting. 40 years later, still here. It's an iconic vehicle and it's tinged with sadness that it's finishing, but all good things come to an end with moving on. It's a massive company. It is the best company to work for in the world.